You know what they call him online? Pug CEO. Oh, <laughs> sh**. They, they got a nickname called Pug CEO. And when people told him that he was not good looking, he never made fun of him, you know? It's just people don't understand that you can fall in love even if the person is not good looking, you know? He's probably deserved to be a ugly woman just as ugly as him. And he's ugly inside and out. That's why he's ugly. Because he's ugly, you know? Because they said appearance affects what's inside. Mm -hmm. Inside. inside. <laughs> what's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Dick Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Dima, Inspector Gadget Music! Man, these streets are real. And Fresh CEO is out here looking like a simp. And guys, I'm not even mad at these dudes. I've been told y'all that these dudes was lames, that these dudes was cowards, that these dudes wasn't real. But stop the show. Y'all got mad at me saying I was hating on them, that I was jealous of them. Ain't nobody jealous of them, man. Those dudes are lame as hell. And they been fraudulent. They been not for real. They been dusty. They been lying and they been crusty. Can I get a ooh sound effect? <laughs> Fast forward, Dima. Let me get on y'all and get on the actual situation. Now, this young lady here, whose name is Daisy, is Chinese, right? Wanna give a shout out uh, to Courtney. She actually recorded this yesterday when she was on live on Instagram. And you know, your boy got those Instagram receipts. And she talked about, you know, how shady fresh CEO is. Now, again, this is a guy that came from, um, I don't know if it's, it's not Barbados, it's Tobago. It's probably Tobago. It's one of those countries, right? I don't want to give no disrespect to, to Trinidad or anything like that, right? But he came from like either Barbados or Tobago. One of the police, I don't know. I think he came from Barbados, right? And this is something that I didn't know. And it's so sad because I think, I'm not quite sure, uh, his mother was a single mother or something like that, right? Yeah, he, he's a, he, he grew up in single family. So don't you believe that he would want to have a father in the time or like at least the mother not to be alone and he's repeating that? Like how cruel is that, you know? Yeah. That's right. Your boy Fresh is from a single parent home. Now this is so interesting, right? Because these lames out here Myron in him. They got so much smoke for black America and African Americans is lazy. But look at when they come over here and they have that attitude. They not over here winning for black men. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Dudes with that attitude, they bring their dysfunction from wherever they came from and come over to America and dust it up, right? And that's what he does. And I want to talk about some of the things that happen from these other groups. Like, and I noticed this, whenever brothers that come from the Caribbean or from Africa, and I applaud you guys for your accomplishments, whenever those brothers do well, it's like Barbados pride or, you know, a uh, Ghanaian pride or whatever. And, you know, and then, hey, it gets celebrated in that way. But this lady is a Chinese lady, right? So whenever he makes this mistake that he's about to make with her, wanna know who get blamed? Drum roll, please. <laughs> His dusty ass get blamed with the rest of black men that from the African-American community that ain't got nothing to do with it. You know what I'm saying? And that's the problem. Like you guys talk about us, then you come over here and do this lame ass behavior. Then other people believe that we're the ones that did it. When we didn't do it, your lame ass did it. But let's go back to this whole situation. She's gonna talk about, you know, she can't believe how nasty he is not wearing condoms. Play that clip. He's not even concerned, considering like concerned. He's not concerned to have sex with other women, like without condom. Bro, are you kidding me? That's hella dirty. How do you know who she f with? All right, this is crazy because she knew that this dude had so many other ladies. She just wanted to be the main chick. I'm not even gonna waste my time playing the clip because she said it. So you thought you were special? Like this is another thing too, right? Stop the show. A lot of these ladies that come from these foreign countries, and when you live in Miami and New York, from my understanding, it's not so easy to access these ladies, all right? So a guy like Fresh, you know, if he lived in Miami or New York, yeah, you're dealing with bad chicks, but a lot of them is like, they don't really know the game. So a lot of them is coming into the country, and you know what I'm saying? They don't really know what's up. 
So it's actually easier to get these foreign chicks because they're coming from, you know, different places of the world and all that. But yeah, you know, you thought you was really special. You might be special in China, but booty clapping zones? <laughs> Not in the States, boo. You know what I'm saying? If he was clapping your cheeks, would he clap his hands? With all the condom, he was definitely clapping these other chicks' cheeks too. But here's where she's gonna talk about that this dude hangs out all night, he's lazy, she was buying him food, which could mean he's sort of broke. Let's play the clip. It's funny because they don't know, like, you were buying food for him when you were in his house. Like, you are in my house, and I can assure, you know, I can even show, like, the, the you know, the tickets of the food you're buying food for me. Come on, you know, I'm saying that. I live here, you're staying in my place, you're buying food for me, you know, like, that, you know I cook. Yeah. And they say, oh, the pasta, you know I cook. I, yeah. um, I have made breakfast for you, whatever, you know, but yeah. you are always so nice. Like, my, my fridge is full of food, like, for diet food that we can make the yeah. diet. And you're always like, no, no, I pay. We go out, you pay the food, you ask for delivery, you know, like. <laughs> yeah. And you used to do it with him, too. Yeah, I, I do that. And you have the receipts, like, and you know where it's, you know, so yeah, come on, uh, like. Yeah, yeah. Um, a gold digger so doesn't do that. A gold digger doesn't do that. I, I was, like, even considering about his health because he go to the club all the time, you know. He stays up very late. Uh, I was always, like, trying to help him because I, I wanted him to be more healthy because we talk about to have a kid. So I actually ordered a lot of a bunch of stuff from Amazon. I brought him, uh, like, liver detox, multivitamins, fish oil, you know, all these kind of supplements and uh, also like proteins, you know, just to, I just wanted him to be healthy, you know. And you offer him a training. Like, yeah, and I, I even like wanted to train him because he's trainer, like, come on, he's been training for like five months already. Nothing changed, guy. Oh man, yeah, that, this don't even sound good. Like you got a lady living with you. She's buying food for you. I mean, that's all nice, right? Um, seem like a nice lady. She's trying to, you know, actually care about your dusty self. But, you know, the lady is uh, not really being a gold digger from, from, you know, let her tell it. You know what I'm saying? She's out here trying to, you know, really be solid with you. Paying for your food. Telling you to stop staying out all night. Booty clapper sounds. Because you going to the club. Because you hella reckless. You know what I mean? And that's what I've been telling you. See, dudes like this coming to the YouTube game. They get some money. They never used to get no cheeks. Then they be out all night long partying, you know what I'm saying? Acting like they're a CEO, fresh CEO. CEO of what? He can barely even read, you know what I mean? Then they get into the business, they get some, you know, a few a few chicks that, you know, let them you know, see some cheeks, and they're out the business after that because they're dusty. But this next part <laughs> is a killer. I always encourage him, you know, baby, you're doing good. You're going to be, like, better, like, just eat healthier, you know, like, don't eat too much sauce. Uh, take su supplements, you know, sleep earlier. I was trying my best to be the best girlfriend, like to be my best, to be not just a girlfriend, like also a partner. And when people told him that he was not good looking, he never made fun of him, you know? It's just people don't understand that you can fall in love even if the person is not good looking, you know? Yes, it's not, it's not about appearance. It's just not, because if I... I want to get like beautiful guys, good looking guys. There would be like a bunch of them. Like that wouldn't be an issue for me. Like he knows even when we go to the club, the guys will be picking me up in front of him. It's just funny. He knows. And one, like one time we were at the, like one club in Miami and the guy was like, came up to me. Hey, can I get your Instagram? I'm like, my boyfriend's here. He's like, oh, I know him, but I still want your Instagram. So every time when a, when a guy came up to me, I always say, I'm in a relationship. I'm loyal. I'm loyal to him. I am committed to him. I'm loyal to him. You guys just, you, you just can't feel how I feel right now. He deserves nothing. He des he's probably deserved to be a ugly woman, just as ugly as him. And he's ugly inside and out. That's why he's ugly, because he's ugly, you know, because they said appearance affects what's inside. Oh, uh, yeah, man. She she called you ugly, bro. Now, let me just tell you this, man. I've I've been called ugly before and uh, and that's cool. Right. I never been the kind of person that says I don't like black women. I don't deal with them. And, and I'm gonna go to another preference. Bruh, you're the one saying you don't deal with black women. 
Give them a round of applause, right? Because I'm so glad you don't deal with them, right? And um, and then guess what? Your, your ass is going over here to these other ladies, and your ass is still ugly over there. So the Asian lady said you ugly on the inside and out. Now, I get it that you clapped those cheeks, but bruh, she even said that dudes try to holler at her in front of you. You know what I'm saying? Um, her friend is saying that when other people make fun of how ugly you are, you know what I mean? She still stood up for you. Damn, bro, I ain't never had a woman talk about me like that. And I'm definitely, well, I look better than you. But I never had that, I never had that problem, bro. And just to think, you're going over to these chicks who don't even prefer you, bro. They don't even think you, they don't even think you that dude, man. Damn, bro. You over talking to them. They don't even really deal with you like that, with your ugly, hold on. And she even said that how ugly you is. Now I know what the baby gonna look like. But bruh, that's sad, man. I would feel some type of way. And bruh, you need to get yourself together. Y'all already got demonetized. You got your girlfriend, uh, Myron over there. He crying online. I'm gonna get him too. Don't even worry about it. I'm definitely about to get his ass. So, um, so yeah, man, you know, you know, I, 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 I'm not hating on you. You think somebody else hating on you, but nobody's hating on you, bruh. You're just a sucker. So guys, what do you think it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson? Back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Junk. I put you to find you just heard a bell rock.